Hi there, welcome to another HackerRank series of challenges. This time we're going to be tackling a medium one, a very interesting one, and it's for strings. So we're pretty much doing the final ones for strings. Let's solve this challenge. I've got my Jupyter Notebook here to help explain things to you, and I've got my HackerRank dashboard here. This is the task description, and here is where I code. Like always, remember that this bit up the top is where you write the instructions, so where you define your function. And down the bottom is where you use actually the function that you wrote up the top. So let's see what the task is. This is a bit complicated one to read, but essentially you will be receiving a string s and you will be receiving an integer k. So imagine this is the string a, 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 b, c, a, d, d, e, and the k is three. What you need to do is to break this string to this length as many as possible. So this one is of length nine. So you will have AAA, that's one of the ones. Then you will have BCA, and then you will have DDE. And eventually what you need to return, if there is a repetition in any of those small chunks, for example, AAA is essentially three times A, you need to get rid of repetitions and just print one of that. So you will print A, for the first one. You will print BCA for the second one because there is no repetition. And you will print DE because D has been repeated. Another example that we have been given is this string, AABCAAADA, and the number is three. So AAB, you need to print AB, get rid of repetitions. CAA, you need to print CA. And ADA, you need to print AD. Let's go on and get this ball rolling. What I will do is just to remind you of the fact that if you have a string like B A A C D D E D D, and if you make a set out of it, it will get rid of repetitions. So you had two times A here, you got only one. You had one B, well, you have one B. You had one C, you have one C. You had three, uh, sorry, four Ds, and you only have one. And you had one E, and you've got E. So remember, this is what sets do. So let's get rid of that. What I would like to do is to go over that string. And I'll just quickly copy this one. Just copy this here and make sure K is three. These are the given. And what I would like to do is to be able to go over the string. So can I say, when the user says three, I will say, okay, this is the first three, this is the second three, and so forth. So I, I need a moving window. My moving window will have a start and it will have an end. So I will start from zero and then I will have whatever the user tells me, here it is three, so I, I will go from zero to three. So if I show you the S from start to end, you will see that I have A, A, B, but I wanna be, I wanna be able to loop over this. What is really important is that I don't know how big this string is gonna be. Maybe the user will give me a really, really big string. So. I don't know, and I don't think a for loop will be the best. I can I can try a for loop, but my idea is that if I use a while loop, I don't have to worry about really understanding how big this string is. And I, all I need to do is, as long as the end is smaller than the length of S, continue doing something. Why did I do this? Because my plan is to have a start have an end and start moving that window by saying, okay, uh, like do some stuff here, which I will come back. Keep moving the window. This is where I will be moving the window. How do I move the window? I will say, okay, once you did that stuff for the first bit, make sure you add start to the K. Well, you are, I'm sure you are aware that I could write this in a short form and that will be exactly the same. So if you want to look professional, just do this. This is exactly um, equivalent 
to doing this start equals start plus k. So if you want to look, if you want to have a sexy code, just do this. So this is going to be moving the window. And I will have to do the same for end. I will say end plus equals k. So this is going to be moving the window down here. So what do I do with this stuff here? Let me just quickly show you what this looks like. If I were to print s from start to end, you will see that that window moving thing is actually working. So I've got AAB, CAA, and ADA. So that window is working, beautiful. Now, the only thing I need to do is essentially print unique values in that. So I don't need to do print. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. So I will make a temp variable. The reason is I want to break this string into pieces and store it in my temp. So the string, uh, which is called s here, from start to end, gets saved in a variable called temp. And now I can easily make a chunk out of that temp. How do I do that? Well, I will first convert temp to a list because now it's a string. I want to convert it to a list. Let me just print chunk as I go so you will see how it works. Okay, so now you can see that I have converted that connected AAB to a list. Then the next thing I will need to do is to convert it to a set. Now I have a set, but then again, I will have to convert it to a list. So what I will do, I will just copy these bits because while loops can be tricky and they can run forever. And okay, now I have a list that I can just simply join using the join function. So instead of printing chunk like that, I will say, okay, now join everything in the chunk together. Now you can see that, well, I have A, B, A, C, and A, D. So I think my code is pretty much ready. So copy the code, put it into the recipe area, make sure you tap anything after line two, because when you copy things, that tapping goes away. It stays for the first line, but for the second line, so forth, it fails. So let's run the code. It's processing. Something is wrong. Okay. I think I shouldn't be using S here. Maybe, yes, that is string here. So let's copy string. It is not called S. It is called string. That's my bad. Put string here. And let's run it again. Ta-da! It worked for the sample test case. Let's submit for all the other cases. They should run. Brilliant. I hope you enjoyed this and see you in the next challenge.